I'm really enjoying the show so far. Uh, Colin, I'm actually going to start with you. Your character has to deal with some of the most difficult emotions that anyone has to deal with. Can you just tell me a bit about the challenges in, in playing this role? Well, I think um, one of the challenges especially is Edward being a, a kid. I mean, I think Lacey feels the need to, to shield him from what has happened to him. But I think the only thing that does is kind of make things worse, things worse and kind of um, lead him into almost like denial, right? I mean, mm-hmm. he denies what happens and I guess tries to think that mm-hmm. some things are still the way they were, but they weren't. And um, I think Edward being a kid and what has happened to him kind of plays into the challenge for Lacey having to, I guess, kind of help him back to where he was. And um, I mean, what do you think? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I think that that's really true. I mean, and it's a dance between the, a woman who's really been trying to make her way toward to motherhood. And, um, you know, it is a question. How do you how do you care for an adolescent, a deeply traumatized adolescent without any parenting experience? And Taylor, do you ever feel a sort of responsibility of sorts to help guide younger perform- performers kind of through scenes? And do you remember when you first began, was there someone that stood out as kind of helping you find your feet in the industry? Oh, so many people, I feel like. I remember I was on a set my very first job when I was out of graduate school, I worked with Margot Martindale in this. She played a head nurse in this show where I was another nurse. And she really just taught me so many things. Just, just, just so beautiful. But um, there are so, yeah, so many people. I was going to ask Taylor as well, because I obviously haven't been a big part of Orange is the New Black. I'm interested to know, when you sign up to a, to a new series, a bit like you're signing up to a series now, do you have to consider in your mind that it's something that could last a while, a commitment that could go on a few years, or do you just have to take it oh, seriously? No. Like no, 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 no. I think what I, all, all I, all, I think all we can do is just sort of be in the process and give it a swing and see what works and go with a gut instinct for a character and those kinds of the how it all shakes down i feel like is just so far out of anyone's control i mean it's not some people are in control some people are in control but it's it's a i know i don't i don't think about the how how it will all play out yeah and Colin, i was going to ask i mean obviously this 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 show has got a, a tragic story to it but do you think this is a project and a story full of hope yeah i think it's a it, despite what happened it's uh it's a story about people trying to uh, find hope and find new ways to live their lives without their loved ones. And they try and navigate that and the story follows that story. And so I think it's definitely um, more geared towards people finding hope than um, focusing on the tragic event. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think you both do a wonderful job. It's, it's, a, it's not, not easy characters to get right, but it's a really wonderful show. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.